I wish I had Sheep for this matchup. I guess Doomsayer will have to do, and Doomsayer might be as good. Doomsayer is better than Sheep, actually, if you have Frost Nova. Nice, good opening, Doomsayer. Really important to have. Just buys you tempo. It's much better than any other removal here. I mean, I guess nothing even other than Doomsayer. You can kill a mini bot with a removal generally, but this also prevents any development this turn for the most part. I have stuff to do. I'm just going to play Effigy instead of Duplicate because it's more of a tempo secret. As good as duplicating a bunch of belchers is. Pound of Water Mental is just gonna go face. I do want him to force him to get the secrets ASAP, so. Not a bad one. Alright, let's start by attacking. I'm gonna need a polymorph on the turn where he, where he plays Mysterious Challenger. So next turn I guess I can polymorph from Frostbolt. I could have Frostbolt and ping or Frostbolt and play a secret. Problem is with Frostbolt and playing a secret, he's almost certainly just gonna go face after. So Frostbolt plus secret sounds even a little bit worse than Frostbolt and pinging the defender here. Uh, he has Consecrate, it's spell power. It's probably not the strongest thing you could have done this turn anyways though. The light protects me. But he got a lot of cards with that divine favor, so. I was planning on uh, pinging and playing this, even again, like any secret. That way I can set up for Flame Strike. That one was good though, he basically kills my minion now. Good thing he didn't play something that. I guess this technically doesn't die to Flame Strike, but it's not that bad. I was really scared of something like Dr. Boom. Flame Strike's not, still not bad here. Certainly pretty good, but definitely above average if he's running secrets in his deck, so. Put this apple on your head. The light protects me. I'll never tell. So probably I need Alex for this game. To heal myself. I think Avenge is the most likely secret at this point. Hmm. 
I guess I'm just gonna play this. What am I? I mean, I'm probably dead, but even if I ping this, I'll probably die anyways. It's difference between two and three damage. I guess I died to consecrate this way, but maybe I'm trying to pull out my ice block in case I don't die this turn. That way, I actually can play some minions, like do something. Maybe I don't die next turn if I get the ice block from this mad scientist. Garden Mage is a minion base, like, tempo deck. It's not a tempo deck, but tempo is more of a concept. Like your... How do you explain it? Garden Mage is like a, it's like a slow greedy deck that tries to play as ungreedy as possible. So... It's really interesting, right? Because you're... Like, you can almost not lose the value, so the only way you can lose is through tempo. So, I can use utilize concepts like... You know, playing as fast as possible, tempo-wise. It's kind of why I like Midrange Paladin. It's the opposite. Midrange Paladin is like <clears throat> a fast deck that has a lot of late game, so you can play as as greedy as possible. So when I play Midrange Paladin a lot, you see me just using hero power and, and things like that a lot. So I really like, they're both board controlled decks, but they're focused in different ways. But they both are tempo decks, I guess. This makes sense, coin portal. You can ping something, it's not gonna be great. Let's just pass. Put this apple on your head. All right, I'm gonna play it. How many do you see? Using my coin here. It's pretty painful, but you gotta deal with this juggler. If I wait till turn four and play it for him, he can true silver it, or he could bless in kings. Right now, even if he musters, he'll still have to be trading the juggler in for it. For and then I at least deal with the knife juggler. Okay, let's start the grind. This hurt? Ah! Not a bad duplicate target. Is that bad? <laughs> Four mana, three five. So it's like a yeti, a little bit weaker. Normally, I feel pretty good at king stuff like this, but I do have Belcher and stuff. Hmm. Never character is healed, so let's say it's a little bit better than three five. I'm not a priest, so I can't really heal, but just a couple of heals. He's playing mid range pally. Next turn, probably play Belcher. Maybe I'm just gonna trade off. That's not bad for me either. Because then I get killed, my kill, uh, kill my guy off, and I can just duplicate Belcher. Probably better anyways to duplicate Belcher. The big thing is, this is the greedier trade, minion-wise. But if you play Sludge Belcher, my guy's just gonna be sitting there. He's not really gonna contribute to the board against Sludge Belcher, and won't be able to remove minions, and it doesn't attack into Belcher very well. I'll have 10 cards after this duplicate, should be fine. It'll be way too slow to play Effigy and then duplicate, or and then play it. This gives me enough value, two more Belchers. Trades pretty well on board. Until the true server came out, but... Yeah, I mean, I know the, I know the true server buff the Holy Champion, but it's probably not a, not a big deal. It's not that efficient to just keep dropping belchers into his board, but I have so much value with this deck that I, could, I can afford to just keep dropping belchers, even though it's time to just a weapon and a silver hand recruit. I feel like he's already all in. I've, I have too much value it already, so maybe I should play faster. Yeah, I like this. If he plays Dr. Bream, I can play Big Game Hunter and a, a belcher next turn, like this. And I have a potential flame strike set up. Like, I don't need this Emperor to go off multiple turns or to get a lot of value here. Because Belcher doesn't get a lot of value either. It's pretty much the same thing. 
The only difference is it tanks two more damage. The one damage to Dawn Child probably doesn't matter. So it tanks two more damage at the cost of I don't get to reduce my whole hand by one. I feel like I need that more than the two two life. I probably will not save Archmage with Frost Nova, since Frost Nova is so good this turn already. Lotheb, probably going to next turn, Belcher is more useful than Lotheb, but this locks down Lay in Hands, which is something, because I'm setting up for Flame Strike. I have no time for games. So him playing more minions isn't that great. Of course, Lay in Hands kind of like the best counter, probably. So, Flame Strike here. Is there a cute way I can do this? Like, kill the Shredder? No, because I need to do one damage. These are two 5 health, so I'm, I'm just gonna have to trade for one of them. Does it make sense to see what I get first from the Shredder? Flame Strike first? I'm not completely sure, honestly. I'll just go for it. Yeah, that's probably worse, actually. I got a 250 donation from Jay and Mary. Hi, Kongchu. Who do you admire? Who do I admire? Mm. It's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm never really think up think about something like that. Let me read some of these chats. Need a second frost uh, or flame strike. Otherwise, I guess I still have another move, which is just to play my secrets and belcher. I guess I don't have that much time. It's kind of risky because you can kill this with quartermaster, unless my effigy gets really lucky. Oh, I didn't even realize he had two silver hand recruits. I thought he only had one. So you can definitely kill my Doom Sir. Hopefully, I get another taunt from the effigy, though. Absorb seven damage, but now I don't win on a Doom or a Frost Snow anymore. Yeah, just too much board control. Ping one one Belcher plus Doom there, it wouldn't have, uh, he would have still. Do I Kathy, even if you only had one one dude, Core Master would have still busted through Doomsayer. It is very important to play Belcher uh, after Mad Scientist for stuff like that. If you play Belcher with then Mad Scientist, that doesn't work anymore. It doesn't effigy the Belcher. Probably it. Alex. Well, technically, getting us 13 damage. But if he just goes all face, I'm kind of out of healing at this point. Oh, wow. 
Flame shark first. I will mourn. Oh my god, what if I win? Makes sense from trade a little bit. I'm not sure. He could have got me to lower, but then I would have had more minions on board after flame strike. Then I might have killed him really quickly, like if you left out the especially if you left out the seven attack minion. Uh oh. Still a lot of minions I can't deal with. Probably still lost. I don't have ice block anymore, so. Well, okay, technically I'm not dead. What if I win by freezing him? Like killing these two? It gets me to one? No! Oh, okay, now I just need these boom. Actually, I'm dead. I can't win anymore. I think I need a top deck because uh, there's too many dudes where I can't kill anything, everything anymore. It gets me to one. I can big game hunter. I can kill the two little guys. I could have fro froze him, but yeah. Now there's even the boom bots. There's too many. I need uh, Frost Nova. All right, Frost Nova one time. And then just go face. Ooh, that's something. That's good. Okay, I'm all face. Actually, yeah. Get my duplicate out. I should play around Quartermaster and kill these one ones instead of Bim bots, and then just race him at this point. That's my best chance. I hope it's- I hope he just kills my heal bot. Ah, oh. <laughs> Like, if that duplicated heal bot, just went ahead and boomed it down. The boom bot. Or Alex would have been good. Alright, no blessing of kings. No blessing of kings. Wow. I'm gonna see in the next game, it's like every time I draw Lotha, whether I'd rather have Sylvanas. Last game I played Lotha, yeah, last game I definitely would have rather had Sylvanas, it would have worked out better for me. Don't be too picky with the mulligans for this type of control deck. You don't have that much early game, so maybe keep, like, normally I'm not sure about keeping Portal in a control mage, but since my mana curve, like, I don't have much to pick from early. I basically just have the Mad Scientists and... It's really my only minion early is Mad Scientist. Maybe he's freeze mage. If I knew he was freeze mage, I would probably have played slower, not use my coin turn one. Coin's pretty good with arch mage, but I thought I might have been playing against the tempo mage. I want to play a little bit faster there, especially with two two drops. It's gonna be the weird minion to duplicate, but 
if I get two void colors, I can keep one in my hand, and then it'll pull out the second one or something. Well, this is good. So here it's better than, of course, it's better than uh, Sylvanas in this matchup. <laughs> so this is one matchup where it's definitely better. I'm actually just pressuring him, and then I'll have this duplicate and effigy down. It's very hard for him to clear my board since it's, I have minions that are outside of flame strike range. He can't really cast spells turn, and then I have the effigy and duplicate. So this is pretty cool for me. There's a mathematical way to- there's like a best way to do this turn for sure. What's the best against Blizzard? i definitely kill the Blood Mage. I think this is the best way to do this. I should have killed <coughs> the scientist first. Wait, is that right? If it was duplicate, duplicate is blood mage, which is good. But I want to draw a secret, so what does that even mean? If I want him to draw a secret, I shouldn't then have deck first. Nah, at this point I'm just confusing myself. He needs a second fireball here, but if he does have second fireball, he still has to not kill my other minions. Flame Strike isn't that good here. In fact, I can just win this game through tempo. If he's 100% flame striking this turn, I would rather play Effigy. My best move against Flame Strike is Effigy and Water Elemental. But if I play Effigy and Water Elemental, he just Alex's me. I don't have as much power on board. And this is still okay. It's good enough against Flame Strike. Alex, hmm, oh. okay, so Alex in this matchup is actually decent because I have Ice Block, but I need to get the Ice Block for it to be good, because Freeze Mage will burst me from 15, it's not likely going to get a heal, unless I get a Ice Block, and then I can definitely get value from it, so yeah, I can pro probably pluck his block this turn, but I'll, I might die, actually I can't, this is uh, not enough, unfortunately, 6, 10, 15, 16, I probably lost to burn here. Does that even matter? Like. Frank Tizzle, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strive Crew. Crowfist. Uh, use Flame Strike and Ping on Emperor instead of Fireball. Hmm. But what do you cast? Archmage, Frost, Bull, Iceland, so he has two fireballs. I'm gonna Alex myself here. So basically I need to kill him, Alex myself, and it's just very easy. In fact, I have a perfect move this turn. Fools. 
I don't want to try to load that, but it's my oldest minion. So if he has, to, if he doesn't have lethal here and he flame strikes me, I can duplicate a load that. I'm not sure if that's even worth playing around. I guess because he can just kill the sludge belcher first. But I mean, he might want to flame strike ping and then use the Alex to kill the slime. It makes more sense if he doesn't know to play around duplicate than to than to uh, Alex into the belcher. He takes more damage. I guess he would die anyways, the flame strike. Maybe flame strike plus, plus block. Okay, double fireball. Second block. I need my block. I'm sad. Hope he doesn't have any more burn. I know he doesn't have a frost bolt, but maybe power blast. Oh, I don't think I'd die if he pinged, because power was power was his only out to kill me. He would have just double fireball frost bolt me if he had a frost bolt, unless he top decked it. What? That does damage to face. Oh, that, that's not fair, no! I should have won. Wait, a bomb does damage to face? I thought it was like a sheep. I was so close to killing my own bomb last turn. Just because I didn't think it mattered. That would have lost, like, wow, that would have been bad. If I killed my own bomb, I would have lost the game there.